Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything we do no matter where we're doing it. And we are doing it today at Brett's Brickyard Bistro, Triple B, where he's the self-proclaimed mayor of Sabertown. That's right, and I'm okay because it's my place. So I get to name <laughs> myself That's right. that. Adam's the mayor of Poolville. We'll go with it. Poolville, by the way. Not Poolville. That's right. <laughs> Real quick, we got we got to pop in and remind you, or let you know for the first time, in case you don't know, that we have a cookbook dropping this January. We are so excited. In fact, it's available right now for pre-order. Yes, it is. It's called the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook. So our link is right below, and you can see it and check it out there. And again, thank you to everyone that orders the book. Right, we're super excited about this, the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook, and it's available for pre-order. You got to check it out so we can share a hundred of our absolute favorite recipes with you. Yep. Uh, real quick, Christmas is on the way, and you may not have the book, but you can have an IOU and let someone know <laughs> that you have pre-ordered the book for a gift. Absolutely. <laughs> now back to our regularly scheduled program, which is us. <laughs> Honestly, we're super happy. We've got a smoker going in the background for another cook that's forthcoming, and then this one has been on our list for a really long time. Talk about an ultimate tailgate meal. This is not one of those. Not <laughs> right. even close. This, this is, is a great, savory dinner. You know, and I was thinking about this, you know, the first time I heard of Salisbury steak, I thought it was something you'd only find in TV dinners back in the 80s. Yeah, that is that. true. <laughs> it's the only time or, we ever saw or it. Or in cafeteria lunch. So but, for as much. But it is one of those, like, this comfort foods that people love and it is so good. And I always just thought regular hamburger patty, toss it on the stovetop and you're good to go. There's actually quite a bit more and we're doing a little bit more with this. But yep. Brett, get to the grocery so people know what we're tossing in this one. Well, here we go. We are using ground beef for this we one. We are, we absolutely. We're, we're also using these baby bella mushrooms. We're gonna be tossing Ooh. in this gravy yes. that is actually on the griddle as we speak mm -hmm. and it is keeping warm. We got these leftover mashed potatoes we're gonna be using. Also, we're using salt and pepper, these amazing salt and pepper shakers, the gravity electric, the electric gravity pop up salt and pepper shakers. We've got cornstarch, we've got panko bread crumbs all going into this dish, and an egg. Right, and the, that is all kind of like a binder to hold the ground beef together yep. while we will actually be uh, doing this. In fact, Brett filmed me just a little bit ago prepping this, so here's what I did. Real quick, I just tossed the ground beef into a bowl and then I started to mix, well, everything else in there. You got the egg, we did a quarter cup of bread crumbs, and then just about a half teaspoon of this cornstarch, salt and pepper heavily. Now, a lot of people will put Worcestershire sauce in, which I actually am a big fan of, as well as a lot of other seasonings. You usually get garlic, you can get garlic powder, you get onion powder and so many other things. We thought we would keep it simple. We want the flavors of the gravy with the, with the mushrooms to also enhance this. So that's all we did, we just mixed this and then I just formed the patties. An interesting story, uh, my understanding from Salisbury steak is that actually they used to try to form the patty so they looked like steak, hence the name Salisbury steak. Whether or not that's true, I don't know. I'm a history buff. I should have done a little bit of research well, on that. We like the story. Tell we it like anyway, the story, bro. so that's how we're telling it. But we've got these perfectly imperfect formed patties that we're about to toss on the, the griddle. And this is gonna go real quick, but first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get to the mushrooms. Brett, let's get on that. Brett's gonna do the cook. I'm gonna film him doing the cook. Let's get it on. Here we go. The lights are shining bright on Brett, or is that just the sunshine? I think it's my glow. <laughs> it's your healthy so glow. Here we go. I'm gonna toss down some butter and just let that melt. And this is on on low heat right now. We've got this on low. Uh, the griddle's been on for about five to seven minutes. There you go. And yes, this is a lot of mushrooms, but they will shrivel down. Yep, they shrink down to about half their size, so we'll still end up with a good amount. All right, we're gonna mix those up, and now that those are kind of pretty much coated with butter, Brett, you can go ahead and get your salt and pepper in there mm -hmm. so you can start absorbing those flavors. You know, salt and pepper, they're here and in effect, and here we go. <laughs> All right, we'll give these about, a good, this is gonna be actually the longest part of the cook bread. We'll give it a good 10 it minutes. Is. I really like those sauteed. <laughs> absolutely. Right now it's time the uh, mushrooms have cooked down. We've got them to nice softness that we like. They taste absolutely delicious. They're now we're just gonna transfer them into the gravy. And this is coming from Brett, who actually doesn't really care for mushrooms. This is but correct. I had him taste one, and they're good. The thicker ones are just have a little bit uh, extra, I wouldn't say bite, a little more al dente. There you go, but they will continue to cook. And actually, I don't even mind, mind because the flavor so is so amazing. This cute little whisk. So Brett, the best part is, I don't want you to move any of that. We're gonna cook the beef right on that. All right, here we go. And patty number one, and patty number two. 
And thank you for not putting them into the sunlight, Brett. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, and so we're gonna just let those cook through. Give them about two minutes untouched. Oh, three minutes. Those are thicker These patties. Th uh-huh. All right, and then we'll flip them and then the cook is almost done. All right, look, look at, at that. that. That extra crustification from all the goodies that are in there with the bread crumbs and everything holding it together. We're gonna go about three, four minutes on this side. We've got the plates with mashed potatoes ready to go. We're gonna plate and then we're gonna eat and you're gonna be jealous. And that's okay <laughs> because we're showing you how you can do it so that you don't have to be jealous anymore. <laughs> there we go. All right, we'll get some ready for some B-roll. Let's let these go a couple minutes and then uh, let's rock and roll. Well, there they are. In all their glory. Absolutely. This plate is still hot, it but it's is. been sitting just a little bit, a little bit. Do you think it's time to eat? Hey, we're gonna find out if we're gonna be able to enjoy it. If we're gonna <laughs> suck good. our faces inside out. <laughs> right, right. So, I didn't even want to say anything. And like I jokingly said, and it's so true, this smells like the TV dinner. Yes, it's, it smells like In you want it to. In such a good way, That's absolutely. Yeah. Like we say, it can look amazing. Oh, this looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely, it does. Like, and it, like we say, it can smell amazing. Oh uh, yeah, we talked about that. Can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah, you can. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this is all for naught. Make sure I get a little mushroom. I've got some steak, I got some mashed potatoes. He called it steak. He called it very steak. steak. It's not wrong. <laughs> Make a big old Look at that, dude. That's like the kid on the Christmas story. Cheers. He's eating his meatloaf, I'll eat, beatloaf. I'll eat to that, my, my brother. brother. <laughs> my mic jumped. Oh my gosh. Bro, that is exactly what you hope it would be. Yep. This was so good. Oh my, my god. This was so good my microphone fell off. Yeah, the microphone jumped ship. It was like, no way, is it this good? It is this good. It's so satisfying with the cornstarch in there. The breadcrumbs just holding the, it together. The crispiness on the outside. And it's so soft in the inside. These, these mashed potatoes. The mashed good. potatoes and to get a little bit of mushroom in there and every bite. Mm. Mm. That is a banger meal right there. That That is comfort food right there. That is just <clears throat> a banger. We, we've made a lot of savory dishes. Yeah. A lot of these Southern comfort foods. And I would say of, of our pork chop, of our country fried steak, of our country fried chicken, might be my favorite. And if not, it's up there. It is, it, it's like they're so all like on the same so I, level. And you know what, maybe perfect. whichever one I'm eating that day is my favorite. <laughs> it's right there. Because honestly, the crisp on, the crust on the outside of this burger gives it a sense like it's- it's, uh, The steak you mean? Like the steak. Yeah. <laughs> but it does seem like it's it's fried. Yeah. So it, it, it does, that yeah, that's what it has that, that, it has that consistency and that feel and that, that taste and texture of uh, like we get like flash fried it real quick or something. We didn't. Yeah, and I think maybe one thing too about doing at home and my biggest takeaway is thinking about this, I haven't had Salisbury steak in a long time. Yeah. My biggest thing with Salisbury steak, it often seems a little soggy or overcooked or just kind of well, runny. Well, you microwave it into right. dinner. <laughs> that can be it. <laughs> but I'll be honest, but that, my point was that I was gonna say, that's what I was expecting. Yeah. Not this like savory, rich flavored, I'd order like, this, crispy dish. I would order this at a fine restaurant. Oh my God. <laughs> It's a fine dining establishment. Yes. Especially uh, a fine da dining establishment such as one called Hungry Man's. Hungry Man's. <laughs> the Hungry Man's Banquet. Hungry Man's Banquet. <laughs> Banquet Swanson. <laughs> Stouffer's. Oh, Stouffer's Hungry Stouffer's. Man's Banquet. Stouffer's Fine Dining. I got it. But seriously, this is so good. You got to try this. This is another yes. one that you got to do. It's so Good. Um, if you did like this and this gave you an idea of something else that you can cook on your griddle, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Yep. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise. There's a link to that in the description below this video. Love that we came in at this one. More than I you know. am probably going to eat more of that than I should. <laughs> <laughs> we cook a lot today and I'm already pretty full, but this is gonna. This is uh, definitely worthy of some more bites. Oh man, we'll go take some steps. Let's go jog. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, I still got to do my 5K, so <laughs> I'll be working it off. Aside from coming to make this stellar dish, this amazing salad steak, why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. on.